Hi, this is Jack Nyland, and today we're going to talk about finding the rational roots of a polynomial. To find the rational roots of a polynomial, we can use the rational roots test. For example, say that we had the polynomial x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. The rational roots test tells us that the possible roots for our function are the factors of our constant, which is minus 2, over the factors of the leading term, 1. So we have 2 over 1, 1 over 1, and then also negation of that minus 2 over 1 and minus 1 over 1. So these are the possible numbers that we can plug into here and make it 0. To test it, we can use synthetic division. Let's try x, x plus 2 to see if it goes in evenly. So we set it up. We take the negation here. What makes it 0? Bring down our coefficients 1, 2, minus 1, and minus 2. And then we're multiplying and adding and multiplying and adding and multiplying. And then we add and we get a 0 remainder. It did go in evenly. And it went in x squared plus 0x minus 1 times. So now we have x plus 2 times x squared minus 1, which is equal to our original polynomial. And quadratics we can factor, or we can solve, and this one we can factor. It's x plus 1 and x minus 1. So there's our three roots our three rational roots for our original polynomial. We have our minus 2 and our minus 1 and our 1. And you see the three places where it hits the x line in our graph. Okay, let's try another one. 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 4. And we know that the possible rational roots are the factors of 4, 1, 2, 4, over 1 and 3, and then the negation of all those. So we have quite a few this time. These are the same over here, 1, 1, so we don't need to consider those. But we do get uh, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 4, negative 4, 1 third, negative 1 third, 2 thirds, and negative 2 thirds as the possible uh, rational roots. It's not easy because there's so many uh, that can be tried. Well, let's try x plus 2 to see if it goes in evenly. We'll use synthetic division. Bring down your leading coefficient, multiply, add negative 2. We get our 4 and 2, and we multiply negative 4, and we do get 0. So we find out that x plus 2 did go in evenly, and now we have 3x squared minus 2x plus 2. And that's a quadratic, so we can get it, the roots of that. Uh, it doesn't look like it can be factored, so we're going to use our quadratic formula. And when we put it into our quadratic formula, we find out that the discriminant is negative, our b squared minus 4ac is a negative 20 so that means that there are no real solutions so we're only going to have one real root which is minus 2 so our graph is only going to hit the x line in the one spot that's your minus 2 it's not easy to find the rational roots for a polynomial Sometimes you may have to check four, five, even more before you find one that works. But if it's a third degree polynomial and you get uh, find something that goes in, then you have the uh, resultant quadratic, which we can then solve to find the other roots. It is possible that there will be real roots, but no rational roots. Real roots is when the graph approximately hits the x line, but it doesn't make the function zero. Odd-degree polynomials will always have at least one real root, 
since one side goes up, the other side goes down, one of those sides is eventually going to hit the x line. Sometimes with our even degree functions, there will only be a imaginary roots. There won't be any x-intercepts, and we saw that before with our quadratics when they were just going up and just going uh, down below or above the x line. Okay, so that's taking a look at finding the rational roots of a polynomial and looking at the rational roots there. So thank you.